The Fencer F1 is Scania's first fully built up service bus in the last 10 years in the UK. So it hopes to build on the success of the Omni Decker range and Omni City. The UK was chosen to debut the new Fencer model back in May 2021. You might have seen Scania's uh, excellent video for the launch of this vehicle. And the range will be rolled out with larger vehicles, double-deckers, articulated vehicles as time goes on. Now one thing you'll notice about the external appearance of this demonstrator is that it's missing the trim around the wheel arches. So if you watch the original Scania Fencer F1 video that I did last year, you'll note it had this blue trim which carried on around the wheel arches. That's now been removed on the production models mainly down to practicality I guess Fencer F1 has been designed and produced in partnership with Haiga also manufacturer the Scania Touring Coach, as you can see over there in the distance. So we're at Scania in Worksop, the main hub for the bus and coach sales team. Inside the Fencer F1, you can see that the vehicle seats 31 passengers, two wheelchairs, and you can have 39 standing with two wheelchairs or 49 standing with no wheelchairs. So, quite a substantial people mover for the size of the vehicle. Interior wise, it feels high quality. You've got Fencer Punt leather seating. It also features USB ports in the back. Just about make out there. Got chrome handrails throughout. The vehicle is fitted with three point seat belts. LED up lighting. Got access to the engine bay from the top. There's one there. Another access point there. engineers can easily get around the whole of the engine bay convection radiators for the heating very solid there's no cheap plastics been used anywhere we also have 
blue accent lighting fitting underneath the seating. Uh, the chrome handrails do make quite a difference to the appearance of the vehicle. And you can see there when I press the stop button, it illuminates. So I have a passenger information screen behind the cab. And you have handrails for standing passengers. Interesting brake glass system there for emergencies. The saloon windows can be locked as well. The tip down seats on this vehicle also feature two point seat belts. over the front wheel arches. Vehicles electronics are stored in this cabinet above the entry point, which is also lockable. Moving to the cab area of the vehicle. It's quite generous for the driver, there's plenty of space. The Isri suspended driver's seat goes quite a long way back. They've also thought about the driver, you've got air vents above the head.
horn. Got an air horn as standard with Scania. Driver also has vents built into the dashboard. So the driver's doing well for ventilation in this vehicle, so you've got the two vents up here and two vents in the dashboard as well. The battery compartment for the Fencer F1 is located underneath the driver's cab. You can see there's an isolation switch there. Then you have a Kryptone battery boost. Then moving further along the offside, you have one of two fuel tanks. emergency door this is also lockable so the emergency door is quite large there is a bit of a lip you can see there they come from the saloon out the door well, I've tried it myself it's not too bad to open the emergency door you need to press this button here, which immediately slides down a plastic cover. So that ensures it can't be tampered with whilst the vehicle's in motion. Tyres on this vehicle are Michelin 275-70R 22.5s. Moving to the engine compartment. Now fire suppression fitted, add blue tank, it does look like there's a lot of space in the engine compartment and the reason for that is this is a brand new chassis from Scania which means the Fencer F1 can also be specified as fully electric. So the right hand side of the engine bay would be fitted out with batteries and the motor would be on the left hand side at the rear of the chassis. So the engine in this vehicle is the new Euro 6 Step E DC07113 which provides 280 horsepower. This replaces the Step D engine that was in the original demonstrator that ended up going to PC coaches of Lincoln. Rear of the vehicle, you have full LED lighting. It's rather smart.
So this vehicle is a 10.9 meter. So it's shorter than the first Fencer F1 that arrived in the UK. On the near side of the vehicle, behind the flaps, you have another fuel tank. Then you have the exhaust system. See the air suspension there. Then you have the vehicle's radiator. Fitted with spell fans. As you can see only so many fans are going round, but this all depends on how hot the vehicle is to how many fans need to be used at once. Moving round to the front of the vehicle. driver has access to the screen wash filler point by lifting this flap at the front. You also have the vehicle's horns and air tanks underneath the front. The vehicle is fitted with front fog lights and LED headlights. Hanover destination equipment is fitted. 